Okay, here now in PowerPoint 2-2, we have a fun little exercise where we're simply going to insert three shapes inside of this one slide. The first thing you do though, remember, is to open the PowerPoint 2-2 file and then save it to your local computer so that you can edit it there. Don't try to edit it in the shared folder. Our first instruction tells us to insert the sun, moon, and heart shapes and it says to insert them at their default sizes. So the way we do that is come to insert and then shapes and you can find those shapes down here under basic shapes. So here is the sun and the moon and the heart. Now we'll click the sun and you might be tempted here to want to like click and drag. If you need to click and drag you can distort the image. And that's not what the instruction says. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. It says to insert the shapes at their default sizes. Well, how do we do that? Click insert and shapes. I'm going to click here on the sun and I'm simply going to come down here and click in the slide itself. So I didn't have to drag in anything. You just click and it places that image there. So we can do the others the same way find insert moon here and I'll find the heart here and so now I have each of those three shapes at their default sizes. Now it tells us in the instructions here to set the sun shape to three inches by three inches so I click the shape and then under the format tab on drawing tools then I see the one I can just type three and then come for the width and type 3. For the one on the moon it wants us to have 2 inches and it wants the width to be 1.5 inches and the heart is wanting it to be 2 inches by 2 inches. So we have all three sizes done. It tells us to rotate the moon. So I was going to select the moon it wants us to rotate this shape by 180 degrees so that the open side of the curve is on the left and the outer curve is on the right. So it's telling us to come to drawing tools and format and then rotate is right here. And we want more options because it says 180 degrees and we don't see that here. I'm going to click more options and then here is rotate right here and I'll simply type 180 degrees and that causes the shape of the moon to turn 180 degrees. Now it tells us to select the three shapes and apply a one point white outline. Pay attention to the instruction. It says select the three shapes. So I'm going to click on the first image. I want to hold down the control key while I click on the second image and then I'll click on the th and continue to hold down the control key and click on the third and then release the control key so you can work with your mouse now and it tells us with these three shapes selected we want to apply a one point white outline so again on drawing tools format we'll come to the shape outline and we're going to come here to white it says white background one but that's the white that we need here then it tells us that using the colors from the standard colors palette fill the sun shape with yellow. Okay so now we have to not have all three selected. So I'll select the sun and we're looking for shape fill. I'm going to fill that with yellow on the standard colors and the moon I'm going to fill with orange on the standard colors and the heart I will fill that with red again on the standard colors. Don't get confused with the standard colors and the theme colors and if the instructions tell you standard colors always come down to this area. Alright after we get that done we now add the word nature to the sun shape so just click the sun and just start typing nature and in this case you can't really see the text because the text is white on a yellow background and it's not going to be easy to see but for all of these the instructions tell us to format this text with the first word art quick style which is called fill black text one shadow 
And that's what this one right here is. Fill black text one shadow. So I'm going to select the object and then fill use that first option on word art styles. I'm going to select the moon and I'm going to type sleep. I'm going to select the object by clicking on the border and click this first option. I'm going to select the heart and type family. I'm going to select the object by clicking on the border of the object, turning the dotted line around it to a solid line, and then click on the word art that we apply to it there. Now the problem that we see here is the word sleep is upside down and the instructions tell us to flip the moon shape vertically so that its text is right side up. So we're going to come back up here to the drawing tools with the moon selected and then over here under rotate we're going to select rotate and it tells us to flip it vertically so here's flip vertical and that places the letters now right side up and the moon is still facing in the right direction. But now it's telling us to rotate the text that's on the moon shape 207 degrees so that the text runs sideways from bottom to top. So what I'm going to do here is select this text and I'm going to come back to the home tab and I'm going to find here the option for the text direction and I want it to go 270 degrees from bottom to top and that gives us what we're after and tells us now to save this and to compare it with the PowerPoint 2-2 results file and you'll see if you've done all of this correctly it'll look very similar to this.